Hi there, thanks for joining me. My name's Timor. This is Fallout 4's Nuka World DLC. We are going to assign a new gang, and this is going to be uh, operators. Awesome. If you're missing an item, stop by our lost and found at the main gate. Your item will be returned to you for a nominal fee. Okay, so we need to go back and talk to Gage. I'm... I feel like I haven't... I feel like I'm missing... This, the hidden cappy in the reserve your plant. tickets now Safari and be the first to ride our angry anaconda coaster opening soon at Safari Adventure. See, that says it's over there near the primate house. So let's we'll go down here. Kind of vague with its informing you where things are. Now, obviously, that's deliberate. Kind of points the rough direction. There's a rocket, and I wonder if the rocket had anything to do with it. There's nothing I can see here. walk through that door for some reason. Can't see anything on those walls. What have you found? Woof, woof, woof. Oh, you found glasses. Oh, well done. You've picked them up and moved them. I now can't see them to pick them up. Unless you've picked them up yourself. In which case, then, there's something a bit wrong, because you were telling me that you couldn't carry any more about five minutes ago. Damn dog. Right, is there anything on any of these walls? Nothing on any of these walls. Nothing on the bathroom. Not on here, is it? I mean, these are supposed to be hidden and difficult to find, but I feel like, I kind of feel like if you were actually here, trying to find them as a, as a visitor, you wouldn't be able to get to some of these. I also feel like I've just got myself stuck. Yeah, I may have just got myself stuck. That's awkward. Can I skirt around this edge, maybe? Oh, I'm going to have to fast travel, aren't I? Oh, no. Yeah, I managed to get off. So could it be behind one of these walls? Maybe. I'm not seeing a cappy. It wasn't very it wasn't a very good pointer telling me where to go, so it could be in here. With the gorillas maybe. I didn't thoroughly check these walls. I just kind of had a bit of a look round earlier. And I'm assuming it's not like on a ceiling or something stupid. Not a particularly terrible uh, drawing of a cappy somewhere, maybe. Not on any of these walls. 
on these walls. Okay, that just leaves over here. Sito, happy family, safe now. Well, you say your family's safe. You got a bunch of raiders are about to move in. Hmm. I have no idea where this cappy could be. Just look at the map again. It's kind of... Yeah, I mean, it was just kind of here-ish. It's not on any of these walls, is it? I'm not going to spend too much longer looking for this because I want to carry on with the story and maybe I'll do a cappy search in a live stream we've checked all those walls I know we found one in the Uh, maze thing that was over there. Uh, I just kind of feel like it should be maybe further south. Not hidden away behind here somewhere, is it? No. I feel like I'm close, I just don't know where it is. Let's see if I can find that recording. Ah, uh, where was it? It'll be under uh, miscellaneous, I suppose. Will it be under Cappy, or will it be under... It's under Cappy, maybe... I can't remember her name now. I know it begins with an S. Sure, it began with an S. I think it was Sheila. While touring the gorilla house, please look for no. gestures Don't know. any of our private specimens. Thank you. Sierra, that was it. Okay, well I'll, I don't know where this cappy could be. I thought I was in the right place, but apparently Nothing is showing up. It's not like some daft roof access or something. Not in one of these cages. I kind of feel like it could be hidden away behind one of these things, maybe, but I don't know. Ah, how do I get up there? I have not been up there. Hey, grab that. Don't grab it, just ignore me. Go away, cat. Uh, cat. Dog. Oh, he could be a cat. Maybe he's a giant Attention cat. Attention guests. In case of emergency, anti-venom is available at the exit for the reptile house. That. Some random drugs. Ooh, what's up here? Let's 
seriously doubt there's a cappy up here, but you never know. Could be on one of these boards. No, looks like about grapes. And I'm not going to get around the other side of that one. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I can. Ah, oh, I can. Have we got a cappy on here? No, no cappy. Well, never mind. Let's go back to Cage. Run the Cappy, Run the Hibby Catty and Kitty's Kingdom. Oh, there's one not far from there. That's interesting. Right, let's go to the Fizz Top Grill. We're going to unload a load of rubbish and then we're going to speak to Gage. So you're going to have to bear with me a minute because I should have done this between videos really, but I wanted to start this one off by showing which gang I was going to assign to the. Uh, thing safari adventure so come here dog heads up over oh. here i don't care if you found something come move here move come here come here yeah yeah how 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 now i'm also thinking i might like to go and buy that gun so i might take with me a bunch of stuff to sell like missile launchers Let's get rid of the shiny slug. I haven't got any ammo for this yet. No, I haven't got any ammo for this acid soaker. How much is that worth? That's worth 314. That western revolver. Get rid of some of these random bits and pieces that I'm carrying. I don't get rid of those, can I? Because it won't let me, because it's a quest item. Give that torso. So my aid, what am I carrying that I don't want? It'd be very heavy still. Probably from all the me uh, nuca that I'm carrying. But we'll just kind of live with that for a bit. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. Mm, not great. Let's see what weapons we've got that I can sell then. Uh, that's only worth 115. I'm not selling that because that's not a unique weapon. Well, semi unique. Frag grenades. I've got 72 of those. Can I take all of them and not be over my weight limit? Yes, I can. Frag grenades as well. Minigun worth a few quid. That's going to push me quite close to being over. And the missile launcher finishes me off. Alright, let's dump some new Coca Colas. So I've got an absolute ton. Don't need to carry that many with me. Come on, engage. What have you got to say for yourself? So many chumps, so little time. Do you want to talk to me? I'll be damned. You actually did it. Nuka World is ours. All of it. You expected otherwise? Hey, show a little respect. Sorry, boss. You've just got to understand. We ain't ever been on ground this solid before. Now that we're here, let's keep this party going. I'm thinking it's time we set our sights on the Commonwealth. Oh, okay. How about you let me decide what we're doing next? Of course, it's your call. I'm just trying to offer some advice here. Taking back Nuka World is a big friggin' deal, no question. But it can't be the end of it. We need to get the power back on yet. Yeah. Beginning. These bunch of savages need a goal, something to focus on. If they ain't got it, they'll wind up turning on each other. In an operation this big, we're gonna need more of, well, everything. Nobody's gonna hand it to us. We need to take it. Commonwealth has a ton of shitty little settlements that could be put to better use. 
Don't yeah, I couldn't think. agree bit more with that. Sounds like you've had this plan from the beginning. The ideas crossed my mind, sure. But I'm just making suggestions here. You're the one that needs to give the go-ahead. We don't gotta rush into this headlong. We take it slow. Be smart about it. If we're aiming to grab a piece of the Commonwealth, it's going to take the right contacts and a lot of muscle. Right? I say we go have ourselves a chat with Shank. He's the point man for everything entering and leaving Nuka World. He floated this idea before. Been itching to talk to you ever since you took over. So I bet he's got a good idea of where to start. He's in charge of the caravan, so odds are you can find him somewhere near the marketplace. Fine. You trust this Shank guy? You ought to know by now. I don't trust anyone. But Shank's on the level. I got no reason to think he'd screw us. Especially if he stands to profit as much as anyone. Hmm. What's he gonna do? Show me how to milk a Brahmin? Maybe. If you ask him nicely, just head over and talk to the guy. He'll back up what I'm saying about the Commonwealth. And while you're doing that, I've already got the gangs working on getting Nuka World's power plant up and running. It's about time we shed some real light around here and let people know we mean serious business. Oh, and if you want my advice, or if you want me to tag along, you got it. No. I do not want you to tag along. Come on, dog mate. We are going to... Things are boring as hell since Nisha made us team up. I ain't yep. no fan of playing nice with others. Okay, whatever. Come on, dog mate. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Right, so we're going to go see Shank and we are going to just check our quests. Can we not get the... Do I not have a quest to actually get the power back on? I kind of thought that maybe that I would be doing that. Okay, so where am I at the moment? Over here... Can I change this to the local map? Would that be useful? Where am I? Why is this not being useful to me? Come on. Uh, there's my location. Give me the local map, please. There we go. Uh, that's... Oh, it's just it's just a little bit too local. So we're thinking... Other side of the river, over that way. There's possibly a cappy over here. Uh, all right, somewhere around here, maybe. Let's see, along this wall, a little corner, back of the building. There he is. Aha, got another one. Right, so that's all of the cappies in this area. That is a good move. Nisha really only has one rule around here. Don't get caught. So we're gonna go to the market first and then we'll go and talk to Shank and I'm gonna get this new gun. Come on, you know our side has the most fun. So, boss. Will we be reaping any rewards from your new raid? Glad to see you're back in the right crew. Knew you had some sense. So I don't know what she was running about because I've been looking after both disciples and operatives. I haven't been looking after these guys. <laughs> Smells like dead meat. Ha! <laughs> Try it, mate. Try it anytime you like. So I'm guessing that Shanks may be in here. Probably outside, actually. Yeah, everything's pointing to outside. Bad for these traders. So, wear the collars like that. which one of you? On supplies, right? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Sure. 
Let's take a look. Right away, boss. Can't remember who has got the gun. Obviously not her. Wouldn't hurt to dip the scale a little in our face. Oh, uh, hello, boss. Congratulations on taking out Coulter. I'm, uh, sure you'll do great. You're damn right. This is my show now. Sorry I'm so nervous. I didn't mean any disrespect, boss. I just don't know where I stand with you, and I, I don't want to end up pissing you off. That, and well, I'd be lying if I said we weren't all wondering how you plan to run the place. I mean, this is your show now. You can do anything you want. You can run Nuka World just like Coulter. Business as usual, or... You could... Uh, well, you know... Tough it up. the Raiders if you don't exactly agree with how they're running the place. Hmm. Interesting. Go on then. Now we will follow well, you. I admit, I didn't like being roped into this job in the first place. Then this might be your chance to make some changes around here. The gangs that call this place home are already at each other's throats. Now, you could risk your own neck and try to keep them from tearing each other apart, or you could do the right thing and put them in the ground. And when it's all said and done, you're still running this place from your fancy house on the mountain over there. Except now, you won't have to sleep with a gun under your pillow. I'm not making any promises, but I'll keep it in mind. It's your call, boss. If you're serious about this, then you'll have to take down the leaders of the gangs. That means putting a bullet into Nisha, Mason, Mags, and Mags's brother, William. Once you do that, the gangs will collapse and Nuka Town goes back to being a free trading post. I should, uh, probably stop talking about this out here. Just keep what I said in mind. Anyway, I'm the closest thing to a doctor around here. I treat everyone, raider, trader, or traveler alike. Got some medical supplies too. If you're looking for those. No. Nope. Gonna pass. All right. I want a gun. Just here to pick <coughs> up some supplies. Must boss. be <coughs> stressful. Running this den of backstabbers, <coughs> road cutters, and double dealers. Let my cams put that troubled mind at ease. Not interested in talking to you either then, because nice you're the cam trader. All you have to do is hear them speak to know they weren't born in the Where's the guy with the gun? Ah, must be you. Hey, Aaron. Here to stock up or just making the rounds? I'll take a look, sure. Sure. Right, have you got the weapon I'm looking for? There it is, the splatter cannon. And I want to trade with you. Give you a minigun, a couple of missile launchers. Mm, that'll do. It's the only thing I'd really spend money on anyway, caps wise. Okay, I will accept your trade. Thank you very much. So, I have a splatter cannon now. Yeah, the only problem with this is it doesn't have much ammo. Hmm. Also needs modifying. Right, let's go and see this guy that we need to talk to. The guy selling cams is a little off. Let's see what this guy has to say about the Commonwealth. And then I'm not too sure what we're going to do. I am, I'm thinking I might carry on with the Raiders. I'm just not sure I want to necessarily help them attack the Commonwealth, but we'll see. Well, look who it is. Liking what you've done with the place, boss. Gangs certainly seem pleased with their new little kingdoms. I haven't seen people this revved up since last time someone spiked the water fountains. Never formally introduced myself. Name's Shank. And if you're standing here, well... I suppose Gage figured you might be the one to finally get things back on track. How long it take him to convince you it was time to move on the Commonwealth? Uh, let's see. Whoa there. I haven't decided yet. Well, then let me help you make up your mind. Because it's a damn good idea. Giving the gang spots to call their own around the park, it bought you some goodwill. But providing them with their own domains 
carved from the settlements of the Commonwealth. Well, I can't think of a better way to solidify your place around here. Plus, make us all a pretty penny along the way. If that interests you, well, all you've got to do is say the word, and we can let the fun begin. Interesting. I wanted to ask about your role in this. I'm listening. Which gang do you work for? Don't work for the gangs. Gage brought me in to work for the Overboss. Plan was I'd advise Coulter in his grand scheme to run roughshod over the Commonwealth. And despite Coulter's change of heart, I've kept my ear to the ground, just in case that day ever came. I'm hoping today might finally be it. What is it that you get out of helping me do this? I've been well taken care of up to this point. I ain't greedy, but people with my kind of talents aren't common. All I'm looking for is a continuation of the lifestyle I've become accustomed to, and the same piece of the Commonwealth pie everyone else around here has been itching to take a bite of. That was all I had. So, does that mean you're ready to begin? If I'm gonna do this, I don't want to hurt people. <laughs> no fun in that. But look, you're the overboss. You decide you want to sweet talk the poor sods we're going to be dealing with instead of filling them full of lead. That's up to you. But I can't change the fact that you're going to have to run some people out of their homes so we can give them to the gangs. No one said being boss was going to be easy. Now, you just say if this is something you're ready to move on. Right, okay. Well, okay. Let's talk about let's get this. Started. Music to my ears. So getting us set up in the Commonwealth is going to require three things. Territory, provisions, and loyalty. First things first, territory. We're going to need to claim a settlement for our gang to work from, an outpost. And there are two ways to claim new territory. You can head in yourself and <laughs> convince the locals to leave. Or I can get a crew together and you all can put them in the dirt. How you do it is up to you. So... First big decision. You want to talk them off their land? Or you want to wipe them out? I'm fairly sure I can talk them into it. Let me talk to them. I'll convince them to leave. Works for me. Once you've planted your flag in the place, I'll send a crew in to set up shop. Now, next up, you'll have to pick who you want to hold your outpost once it's established. Of course, every outpost you claim for a gang is going to be something the other gangs don't have and none of them like the thought of their rivals getting a leg up on them worth thinking over as you dole out more territory so which gang should i have join you once you've staked your claim uh let's see i'm gonna go with the operators the operators got it i'm sure they'll appreciate you thinking of them that just leaves the target now for a new outpost You'll usually want to target a spot with plenty of populated settlements nearby that might be able to feed our people later on. Taffington Boathouse, Croup Manor, Greentop Nursery, The Slog all had a good number of farms within striking distance last I checked. Though I'll need to go through my notes again, make sure they're all still good to target. We're not always going to be able to run every job against every settlement. So... You ready to pick the spot for Nuka World's first new homestead? Yeah, I think so. Um... I'm ready. Good. So, where do you want to hit? Right, it's going to be... Group Manor, because... I've not done anything with that place, I'm pretty sure I remember. Mm hmm. Wait, pretty sure that place is one of yours, boss. That's where you want to hit? Hmm. Hmm. Does that matter? Only if you want to keep control of it. Targeting a settlement for a job is going to break whatever connections you might have had to the place. Worth taking a moment to consider how much you like having that spot under your thumb. So, 
that the target? Yeah, we're gonna do it. That one's the target. Of course, boss. So, to get these folks to scram, you got two main options. Buy them out, or scare them off. Either way, the more afraid they are, the simpler or cheaper getting them gone will be. Lizzie Wyeth over with the operator should have some toys that'll make running them off easier. And it's worth keeping in mind, the more populated or fortified a place is, the more prep you're gonna want to do before trying to run them off. Scare them good, boss. Bah. Won't be a problem. Uh, I can't change the map, so I... Oh, I'm stuck in this area. Okay, well. Find somewhere I can just kind of sign off quietly. So, that is... The end of some quests, the start of some new ones. We've got... I'm not sure what we're going to do. Probably... Probably side with the... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm done being the good guy. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to sort of be a good guy a little bit, but not quite so much. I'm going to do some stuff with the raiders, and we're going to go and explore some of these new options. So I think this is going to be something fun to play with. As for the rest of this for now... I need to go and find a few more little things. I need to find this medallion. And... Yeah, that's, that's, I've just got a few more bits and pieces I need to do. I need to get the power back on as well. So maybe we'll look at doing that in the next episode. So again, this is a bit of a long one. I know I wanted it to be a shorter one, but we'll see how things go. It's, the problem is there's so much story and so much stuff to do in this game. It's, it's, it's just long. Anyway, I'd like to thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye-bye for now.